Hey everyone, in this tutorial, we'll be taking a postcards email template and adding or changing the code to it to enable dark mode in browsers and email clients for users that prefer dark mode. So this is the template that I've created. And the reason why I have a menu one that looks like it doesn't belong is because we need the images from the logo and the social icons and so we can change it in the header 5 section so that it can update to dark mode. So the way to change a HTML document into dark mode isn't to just manually go over each section and highlight and change the white background to a dark background you have to use special media queries and special CSS selectors, as well as add new HTML code to the document so that the client, whether it's a browser or an email client, can read that code and change the theme accordingly. So if you're following along with this tutorial, make a template that looks like this. It has a menu one and a header 5 and we want to change the code so we have to export it by pressing the export button in the top right corner press download as zip and make sure you have the host images online option selected so that you don't have to download and deal with the images yourself I've already exported my file and this is what we will be or what I will be working with and Next, we'll start the process of editing the code. All right, so the first thing we have to do is we have to extract the logo and social media images from the menu. So scroll down to the HTML code where the menu one is defined. And what we want to do um, is to take all the image sources and save it somewhere like a notepad document. So I have a notepad open, so I'm going to paste these in. Just like this. And now we can delete this menu one. So in between the comments where it says begin module and end module, delete everything here. And now if I refresh the page, you'll see that the menu one is gone and we can begin the rest of the process of changing this theme into a dark theme. All right, so the next thing we have to do is add some code to the HTML document that tells the client, whether it's a browser or email client, that dark mode is enabled in the code. So to do that, we go to the head section right here in between the opening and closing head where all the meta tags are defined. And we have to add two lines of code. The lines of code I've prepared in my notepad right here. So these are the two lines of code that we need to add in the head section. So what this does is it tells the client that light and dark are enabled as well as the name. So color scheme and supported color schemes. Uh, next, there is a CSS selector that looks like this and we have to add it in the style section. So just like this. And this does the same thing that the meta tags do. And what this will enable is for users who have dark mode enabled in their browser or email client, this HTML document will tell the client that it is possible to change the colors depending on whatever their color preferences. The next thing we have to add in the code is the media query for dark mode. 
and the media query looks like this. It is at media, prefers color scheme dark, and whatever styles you add in here will get applied whenever the user's preferred dark mode or dark, uh, preferred color scheme is dark. And there's also prefers color scheme light, but since our default setting is light mode, we only need to change the color scheme for dark. And so now we can start adding CSS code. So let's start with the background right here because it is the easiest change. So to find out which element needs to be changed, right click on the background and press inspect. This will open the dev tools and it looks like this is the class that we have to change. So to ensure that is it is indeed the class, let's change the background color to see if it changes. Yep. So I just changed it to red. And so now I know it's this one that we have to change. So I will copy the class and back in my editor, I will open the find tool. I will paste in the class. I press control F to open the find tool. I'll press next. And this is the class or this is the element we have to add a class to. So let's add a dark background class to it. And now back in the media query, let's add the dark background class and the property we want to change is the background color. So background color and let's set it to 262626 because this is a slightly lighter version of black. And let's also add the important keyword because this helps ensure that the style gets applied. And one more thing we have to do is we have to replicate this CSS code to tell Microsoft Office clients that there is dark mode code going on. And how to do that is you add this selector right here, data-ogsc, and just replicate the same code. So I can just copy and paste this and I will save it and I will go back to my browser. I will press refresh. And as you can see, the background color was changed to dark. Um, so to test it, which mode is happening, you can Google how to turn dark mode on for your browser and operating system. But I'm using the Brave browser and in it, I can go to settings and under appearance, I can select which, which uh, color scheme I want. So if I change it to light, it now becomes light background. And if I change it to dark, it now becomes the dark background. So next, let's change the logo. And the logo is different from the background because it's an image, not just a CSS selector. So we have to do it in a slightly different way. And the way to do it is you have to replicate this code and set the display to none for whichever one isn't being used and just switch between the whichever one you want, depending on the mode. So to do that, we go into the code and we find where the logo is defined. So I can see that it's defined here because the image is logo dash dark. And so the first thing we have to do is we have to rep replicate this line of code so that there are two image tags within the a tag, but we have to change one of them to light. And I know that the, the name for the logo that's light mode is called logo dash white. And if I save this and I go to my browser, you'll see that they are side by side. And so the first thing we have to do is set the display to none. But since Microsoft Office clients require kind of different code, it there requires some special syntax and the syntax I've prepared here. So 
basically we wrap this line of code within the over the image tag and as well as the cl closing one so what this says is if mso and if so in between these comments microsoft office will read it and apply the styles accordingly and so i've already added a class called dark logo but what this style does it it basically sets it to none so it sets display to none overflow to hidden with zero all these all these css attributes are just to set everything to invisible rather than just setting the display to none because Microsoft Office clients require special syntax. And so if I save this and I go to my code, you'll see that only one is now displayed, but it's the wrong one because we haven't added the classes and the code in the media query. So for the logo dash dark, which is the light theme logo, I will add a class called light logo and now in my media query I will do something like uh, light logo and within the dark color scheme this should be displayed to none once again set important and also do the same thing here. Display is none, important. And for the dark logo, every uh, CSS selector that was applied, we have to set it to the opposite. So I will just copy everything here. So I will set this to display block. So actually, I already have the code prepared. And it is this. And I will also do the same thing and replicate it for data dash OGSC. And basically what this does, it it sets all the styles that were applied before to the opposite. So instead of display is none, we set it to block. With becomes auto, overflow visible, float is none, max height inherent, max width inherent, line height auto, margin top zero, visibility inherent. So basically resetting the styles in this class. So if I save it and I go back to my browser and I press refresh, now you'll see that the dark mode logo got applied. And if I reset it to light, now the light mode logo has applied. So next, let's do the same thing for the social media icons. So back in my text editor, I will scroll to find the social media icons, which is just below the logo. And the process for this is the same. We want to replicate the image source and then wrap it within the Microsoft Office div code, add classes and set the display to none depending on whichever mode the user has. So I will paste this in and I'll set this to white. Same thing here.
and if I save and go back to my browser the same thing is happening and now we want to wrap the code or the Microsoft Office div within all the dark mode images Now we want to add a class. So this is dark logo. Let's change this to dark social. And add a class called light social. And now we have to add the same type of styles in the media query. So what I can do is I can just copy this and change this to social. Change this to social and I will copy this. And I will change this to social and this to social. I will save the file, go back to my browser, and there we go. We've updated the social media icons to be dark mode. All right, so what is left? The title and the subtitle. So to find the title, let's just copy the text right here and go back to the editor, search for the text, and here is the element we want to change. So let's add a class called dark title to this element. Go back to the media query and dark title. And let's change the color to EA, 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 which is a slightly darker version of white. and we have to replicate it for Microsoft Office. Save the file, refresh the page, and there we go. We have the title now updated. So the last part that needs to be changed is the subtitle. So I will repeat the process. So I will copy this text right here, and I will search for it. And this is the element that needs to be updated. So let's add a class called dark subtitle and repeat the process once again. We can just copy this code and add sub in front of the title. Save the file, refresh the page, and there we go. We have successfully updated the email template to change the color scheme depending on whichever color scheme the user has selected. We went over how to change the background, how to change the text, how to change the images and make it update dynamically. And that was it for this tutorial. Until next time, see you guys later.